Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and of course, a lot of call, a lot of talk about recall. That feature that records everything uh, on your PC that comes with, of course, 24H2 on the Snapdragon X uh, series of uh, processors. So your PC, really only specific PCs, gets this. And there's a lot of talk. You know, it's like we're talking about uh, a system that will be looking at everything. We know there's going to be some options to it, um, but I think one of the biggest concerns right now is that when you actually uh, use the recall feature, it's automatic, meaning that when you will install the um, PC, a recall will be automatically turned on and there's a lot of uh, people and a lot of security analysts are saying would like to have this be a opt-in service, not a it's already there and you got to do what it takes to turn it off or configure it, which I think is, yeah, it, it should be, you know, maybe a pop-up that's going to say, well, we've got this, you know, feature called recall. Do you want to turn it on or not? Um, so that people know that, you know, they they have a choice from the start. Uh, I have to say that also, you know, there's a lot of talk. It's very interesting, all the discussions over this, because for the first time, we'll have something that records everything. You know, people are comparing this to one of the features of Windows 10, which you could go back in time. This is way, way, way more than that. This can recognize images and can recognize maybe faces and say a Zoom call, for example. So, of course, there's all the question of what if I turn it on and what if I give permissions for uh, teams to, you know, be recorded and, and verified by it. Uh, then, you know, all the other options, the legal options to it are, well, you have to tell the other persons in your Zoom call or so on that now they're being recorded possibly. Or it is a very, very interesting aspect of, of you know, first of the legal aspect of it. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, this is illegal, this is snooping. It's not snooping because it's not giving any details to anyone. It's only doing and recording to you, for you, on your computer. So, no, that's not a problem technically because nobody else has access. But it has all sorts of other implications. And, of course, you add the fact that there's other people that don't trust Microsoft to say, well, they're going to find a way to snoop. There's all sorts of things that are making this very, very complicated. Um, it's going to be definitely um, something interesting when it actually is in wide use and see what comes out of it. You know, uh, will somebody find a legal loophole that say, well, you know, you can't turn this on because of this or that or you'll have to. You know, tell people that you're using it. Uh, of course, we know that it's very customizable. Microsoft did say that all the apps that are going to be recorded, you have a choice. You can go and say, yes, I will. You know, I don't want this to be recorded. I want this to be recorded. I only want this to be recorded. You could probably put it a very simple. Only certain things you do can be recorded. Um, but definitely... It's still, um, uh, there's a lot of discussions around it. Um, and there's people that are intrigued and are kind of, you know, PC enthusiasts and say, well, and I kind of want to see this feature. Uh, there's a lot of people I don't need it or I don't want it or I don't want anything that records things, you know, in the background for me. Uh, we have to be fair. There's some recording of some st of things happening in Windows already. I mean, uh, even just a simple thing as if you use the restore feature and means that there's snapshots of, you know, certain aspects of the system. But, you know, it's, it's, it's small information. It's not to the extent of what recall will ever do. So um, we'll see what happens, but definitely there's a lot of talk about this and a lot of talk about, you know, how it's going to probably uh, maybe kind of drive some legal aspect to it where we're going to, have some information a little more about okay and maybe even force microsoft to tweak it to change certain things if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching